everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are into handbags as much as I am, you will love it here. So please hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Today, I am really excited to do this video for you all because I've been wanting to do this for the last few weeks since I received this bag um, and I finally have the time to sit down and do it. So we are going to be doing uh, a couple different things today. I went to uh, the Coach website and I created my own rogue bag. So I'm going to first take you through the process on how I did that and uh, talk about why I chose the colors I chose. And I'm gonna sort of review the whole process from start until I received the bag then I'm gonna show you all the finished product and talk about that and give a review on the bag. So if you're not interested in seeing the uh, Coach Create process on their website, uh, you can skip ahead to uh, the bag review part of the video and I will uh, put the timings uh, down below. So with that, let's get into it. To take you through the process from when I first went to the coach website to create my bag until I actually received it. So obviously to get started you'll want to go to the main coach website coach.com. Uh, once the website has loaded you will see a horizontal menu bar across the top and you will want to click on customization. Once the next page loads, you will want to just scroll down until you see Rogue Your Own Way, and then you want to click the Design Your Own Rogue link here. On the next page, now we have two options. If you live or in New York City or you're near to New York City, you can actually make an appointment to go into the store and see all the materials live and create your bag live which i think would be a really exciting process or for those of us who aren't so lucky we have to click design yours now so you'll want to click on design yours now and then you're taken to the made to order rogue page now there is a few pieces of important information here first of all it ships in 12 weeks now this time does vary when I ordered mine, they told me shipping time was gonna be about 18 weeks because they were behind. So I was pretty shocked when the bag arrived. I think it was 11 or 12 weeks after I ordered it. If you do order exotics, and I'll show you that when we get to that, that adds an extra six weeks to the shipping. So that's 18 weeks. And then another big thing to note here is all made to order items are final. They cannot be returned or exchanged. So you need to be really sure before you do this because it's not cheap. And if you don't like it, you are forced to keep it or sell it yourself. So that was one thing that made me hesitant because oftentimes on websites, and a lot of them, I've seen this on almost every um, brand of handbag websites, the colors online aren't always quite the colors you get. And I think Coach is the worst at this in my opinion. So I was very nervous that the colors as I was going through this process were not going to be uh, represented on the actual product I received. But I will talk about um, how that didn't happen. And just the reason I'm doing this as well is because I went into this cold and I had no idea what to expect and I was really pleasantly surprised at the whole entire experience. So now we have to choose the size of the rogue bag we want. We can choose the 17, that's the smallest rogue. I actually have a 17 and I need to sell it, it's too small. It does not fit my iPhone in it. I have the biggest iPhone. Um, so keep that in mind if you're choosing the smallest size. The middle size is the Rogue 25. As you can see here, it says it will fit an iPad mini. And the larger size is the Rogue or Rogue 30 as most of us call them. So they are the same thing. The Rogue and the Rogue 30 are the same thing. And that's because that was the original Rogue. They only had the Rogue bag and it was the Rogue 30. And since then they've added two smaller sizes and two larger sizes. 
You can also see the dimensions indicated underneath, um, as well as the Rogue does fit an iPad Air. I have a iPad Pro 11 inch and it fits in the side compartment. So keep that in mind um, when you're deciding things you wanna carry around. I have a Rogue 39. I wanted a Rogue 30 uh, because the 39 is just not a great, it's a great work bag, but it's not a great everyday bag. And I wanted an everyday bag. I wanted one that could fit my iPad in it in case I wanted to use it as a personal item when I fly. So I went with the Rogue or Rogue 30. And the reason I also uh, chose to create my own is because I just have not liked the offerings on the Coach website. Uh, for the Rogue Rogue 30 for a long time. So when I learned about this, I was really excited. So after I clicked Rogue on the previous page, now we want to pick our materials and colors. So you can see over on the left, we're starting with a blank slate. Everything white is what we are going to get to pick. So this was a lot of fun and I spent a lot of time, like three weeks, almost daily on here playing around with different colors. And I'll tell you what I settled on and why as we go through this. So the first thing we need to pick is the body. That would be the sides, the front, the back, as well as underneath. And we have three options here. We have natural leather. It does add $105 to the price. And the starting price for the Rogue, Rogue 30, is $995. So if you pick a natural leather, you're going to add $105 to the cost. You can also choose glove tanned or glove tanned pebbled. Now, I don't like natural leather because it patinas and changes color over time. I'm not also crazy about pebbled, even though I do have some pebbled bags. I much prefer smooth leather. So I went ahead, excuse me, and chose glove tanned. So you can see as I'm clicking on different colors, it is changing the color of the body of the bag. So there are 10 different color choices we can choose from here. Um, these do change periodically, I believe. These are the same as when I ordered mine in very early January. Ultimately, I decided on dark denim, and I went with dark denim for the entire bag. Um, and I'll show you that as we go through and pick the other color options. But right away, I have the dark denim bag sitting next to me, and it is not as dark as it appears on the screen. So again, colors are not what they appear to be live versus on a website. Next, we want to choose the handle. And this is where the exotics come into play. You have Cayman here. There is nine options. And then you have 10 options for Python handles. Now, if you choose Cayman, that's going to add $16.05 to the price and Python is going to add $405 to the price. But as you can see, as I'm choosing different colors, it is changing them over on the left. And again, I chose dark denim. And the reason I went with dark denim is after playing around with this and choosing different colors for each segment, I really decided I wanted a classy bag that was mostly uniform. You can't choose dark denim for the lining and I wouldn't have done that anyway, but I wanted something that was classy and uniform. So I went with dark denim on all the different color options. The next thing we have to choose is the straps. It says strap, I say straps, as well as the zipper. Because what's really nice about the Rogue 30 is it comes with a crossbody strap here, a long adjustable crossbody slash shoulder strap. It also comes with two shoulder straps on each side. And just like the crossbody strap, those are fully detachable as well. And they do tuck inside the bag. And then you have the whole zipper section here along the middle. So what I select here is going to select all three of those components. So you can see um, it's pretty cool to play around with this. The one thing that you can't choose is the glazing on the straps. It comes in um, oxblood 
And so when I was playing around with the orange color, which they call ginger, you can see the colors up here as you choose them. I don't really like oxblood with ginger. So that's just something to consider as you go through this, that the, the strap colors are for the most part oxblood. Um, and so you want to be cognizant of that as well. They're not very visible, but you can still see them. And again, I went with the dark denim. Then next we have to choose the lining and we have burgundy as an option. There's only four options right now. So we have burgundy, we have deep orange, we have marigold, and we have navy, midnight navy. I was really wavering between deep orange and marigold. I really love orange and blue. They're my favorite colors. So I settled on deep orange. Is that what it's called? Yeah, deep orange. I settled on that over marigold when I submitted my order. And then when they were preparing my order, I changed my mind and I'll talk about why after I talk about um, how the process worked once I was done creating. So I had selected deep orange, I changed it to marigold, and then the next thing we need to pick is our hardware, and you can see that changing as well. We have the, the deep pewter, which I think is like gunmetal. My 39 has that, and I love that. And then we have our brass option, and then we have our nickel option. I ended up going with nickel because I think the nickel looks the best with the blue. Um, it does look different in person. It looks a lot nicer than it appears on uh, the Create website. So when I had finally settled on this, then I clicked Save, and you can see my price is still $9.95 in the lower left. And then your design will be sent to a made to order specialist. No purchase is required at this time. So I clicked continue. And then once the page refreshes, it takes a little bit of time. You need to enter in all your information here and then you submit your design. So I did that. I, I hit submit my design. The next day, a sales associate from Coach in New York texted me telling me who she was, introducing herself, um, confirming the overall design of the bag and the colors I had chosen. And I had uh, asked her if she also, I'm sorry, she also said, if there's anything you wanna see before we confirm this, just let me know and I'll pull it out and take pictures. And I said, actually, I would love to see the dark denim because that was not gonna change but I would love to see the dark denim next to the marigold and next to the deep orange. And that's why I made the change. I thought the marigold looked so good next to the dark denim and the color was off. Um, in the Coach Create website, it was more of a, a mustardy gold color and the, the, the real thing is a much more of a tannish brownish, maybe with a hint of yellow color. And I'll show you that as I get into the bag. But uh, the sales associate was patient and uh, really nice to work with. And she had told me that it's probably going to take 18 weeks. Let her know if I had any questions. And so I was really surprised. It was, I think, around 11 weeks after I ordered it, I got a text. She said, the bag is in the New York store. It looks stunning. I'm going to love it. She wanted to know what I thought about it when I got it. And she confirmed the shipping address and said they were shipping it today overnight. It was going to arrive tomorrow. It did. So I was really, really happy with this whole entire experience, the customer service I received. And I was really thrilled that I got to actually see photos of the actual materials themselves before I finalized my order because I'm so happy I chose Marigold for the interior. So thank you for watching this part of the video. If you stayed with me, uh, now I am going to go and show you the final product and talk about it and give you my thoughts on the Rogue bag. So now that we went through the process of how I created the bag and talked a little bit about my experience, I hope you enjoyed that piece of the video. I'm going to show you the final product. And the sales associate was correct. I was just so happy 
when I opened this. I think it really turned out beautifully. You can see if you remember what the denim looked like on the actual uh, website, it is not as dark. But this smooth leather, it is just so soft and buttery and so beautiful. And so for those of you that don't know the Rogue bag, again, this is the Rogue, regular Rogue size slash Rogue 30. Um, the interior, beautiful, it's leather. It's gorgeous. So I'm hoping the color comes across well. It is a kind of beige-ish, tannish color, uh, much less mustardy and yellowy than it was on the website. Uh, so when she showed me the marigold paired with the blue denim, I was just sold on that. Uh, you can see how beautiful the nickel hardware is. Uh, the studs here, sorry. <laughs> The studs here that keep the handles attached, they all are engraved with coach on the top and the bottom. Then on the sides, you have the zipper going almost all the way down here. I'm not really sure what this tag here is for. I think it's just maybe um, to reinforce the zipper, uh, but it goes most of the way down. Now that's more of a design than an actual uh, practicality because you can't unzip the, the bag all the way down to make the mouth really wide and I'll show you that um, but I'm hoping you can see how wonderful the construction is the stitching is just so well done it does have the four feet on the bottom it's got a little bit of a saggy bottom so again when we see feet on the bottom yes I'm sure it will give it some protection more protection than if it didn't have feet on the bottom but most of the surface of the bag is going to be touching whatever surface you put it on so it's not going to be protected so you have to again be leery of where you're setting your bag down and then it does have uh embossed there it says what does it say glove tanned leather Genuine glove tanned leather. I guess I should have tried to read it that way. So the stitching and the craftsmanship on this bag is wonderful. It is as good or better than any other brands I have. And I do have several designer handbags as well. And coach quality is as good as any of those. And their prices are less. Um, so again, this was just over $1,000 after taxes and shipping. Um, it really, really turned out well. I was really, really happy when I received it. Now I'm going to give a review of the bag and talk about why the Rogue bag is one of my favorite bags and why I wanted this so bad. And I'm just so thrilled that I got it in, in the colors that I exactly wanted. So the thing I perhaps love most about this bag is the versatility of this bag. So you have the top handles here, which you can carry obviously by the top handle. And when I'm traveling through the airport, I really only bring one personal item on with me. I don't bring a second bag to put above. I just bring one personal item and I usually just carry it by the top handles because at least through security, because then I'm not dealing with a strap while I'm going through security. Um, the top handles are really nice. Again, they're just so beautiful and the stitching is just amazing. The quality and craftsmanship is just amazing on this bag. But this isn't the only way you can carry it. There are several other ways you can carry this bag. The second way is you just tuck the handles inside and then you pull out the detachable these are fully detachable and I love how they attach to the bag with this big thick hardware it's unlike anything else I have so you have the the shoulder straps here I've used these on my rogue 39 just to carry it handheld I also use it to carry over my shoulder you have to tuck the top handles in or else it doesn't really work but it's it's roomy enough for me it's comfortable and sometimes I would take it out and you can, you know, carry it in the crook of your arm like that. You can also carry it handheld. It doesn't touch the ground. Obviously, this depends on your height. 
but this just gives it added versatility and I like that because sometimes I want it slung over my shoulder and sometimes I want to hand hold it and sometimes I go back and forth so this works perfectly and like I said these are fully detachable so you can take them off and then um, there is another strap which I will get to in a minute so you can take these off uh, which is nice, you know, it, 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 they do tuck inside. So when they're off, then you, you have nothing interfering with anything on these slip pockets. And there's really no front or back on this bag. There's however you want to use it. On the back for me, I always use this side of the back. There's a little card holder here. And most of the time that's not useful, but here's one place where it would be really useful. And that is if you were traveling throughout a city, a foreign city or even your own city, and you were constantly using the Metro. You could just keep your Metro card in here, easy access in and out. And this would make a great all day carry around travel bag because of the versatility on how you carry it. So once we go into the main compartment, I will try to show you those zippers, whoops. They say on the chunky zippers, if they stop moving, they say coach, I'm really sorry about that. They say coach 1941. Um, 1941, I believe was like the height of, not the year, the, the, I think they were founded in 41. And then I think some years ago, they had this whole 1941 line, which was the top of the top for them. And so I'm not sure if this classifies as a 1941 rogue bag, but it does say Coach 1941. So I'll show you the interior in just a moment. Um, it did come in a uh, really nice black Coach box, which I tossed out. It came to work. I didn't want to carry the box home and I don't need another box. And then it came in a regular coach dust bag this is where coach could improve in my opinion because their dust bags are so flimsy so I will show you the interior in just a moment but really quick since I showed you what I use as the back I use this side as the front and it does have a nice slip pocket there again I have the biggest iPhone it fits in that slip pocket so that's a good place to put your phone. You can also just put it down in the main compartment too. And that's what I usually do because I feel that this pocket is close enough to the top. That is louder than I intended it to be, but it's close enough to the top where I worry my phone would slip out. Now, the fourth way, because we had the top handles, we have the shoulder strap, we have the crook of our arm. Now we also have a large adjustable cross body strap here as well. And you attach this to one side on the front and then the opposite side on the back, kind of like, kind of like that. And it is really comfortable to carry. Now you can, while you're carrying it like that, you can leave the handles out, uh, which means they're just gonna be in your way when you're trying to get in and out or out of the bag, or you can just tuck them in like that. I tuck them in like that. They don't really get in the way for me. I don't put a ton of stuff in the side pockets. It's kind of, um, or the front and back pocket, I should say. It's kind of the things I wanna grab quickly, like my phone. But this is a really, really nice leather strap. It just is really comfortable. It fits really well. And it's really adjustable. I have it on the smallest setting, though, and I'm six foot tall. So, you know, everyone's different. I don't wear bags crossbody. I only wear them hanging from the shoulder. But if you wear it hanging from the shoulder and you're shorter than me, I'm not sure that's going to be a problem or not. But it does have five five different adjustments I'm on the shortest so uh, just keep that in mind now I'm going to detach this and then I'm going to show you the interior of the bag so although and this is what I was talking about earlier although the zipper does unzip all the way down on the sides 
it's more for design than functionality because you as you can see right here that's how far the bag opens so you don't I never even zip it down all the way because there's no point once you reach this point because that's as far as you can go um, it does have a uh, button closure slip pocket here uh, it, the buttons kind of hard to get open maybe that'll loosen with time but it's got a center button on the slip pocket I actually like to leave that buttoned because then it creates kind of two separate compartments and this is a really great place let me grab that this is a really great place for me to keep my key holder i can keep my key holder on one side there and then i usually like put lip balm or hand lotion or something on the other side so the button kind of creates two separate compartments which i like and then otherwise, it's just a big canvas lined hole, um, which is nice. It fits a lot of stuff. I carry pouches and things, so I don't have just a bunch of random loose stuff in there. Um, but this is a really great bag, and it's really beautiful. It's well done. I love the colors. I love the design. I love the functionality. Um, I, I, I'm not a fan of uh, Coach in general, I would say. There's not really any other coach bags that I see that I want, but I am a huge, huge fan of the Rogue bag. Um, this just came out so well, and I love the nickel hardware with the blue. I'm so glad that I chose nickel and not the, I keep calling it gunmetal, the darker color. But all in all, it's just a really beautiful, well-made, functional bag. Um, great everyday bag 13 inch laptop does not fit in here so it's not a, a work bag for me uh, but i could definitely see myself using this as a carry-on bag on a flight and i could see myself using this to walk around a city all day every day um, i certainly will bring it on my next lengthy trip and uh, give it a test so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I covered everything I wanted to. If you have any questions down below, uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, the process, if you've done it yourself, colors you've chosen, all of that good stuff. So thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a nice weekend.